Hello everybody, welcome back to Planet X News. This is Scott from the Nibiru channel. It is April 1st, 2017, and from today forth, we're going to be issuing an earthquake and volcanic activity report for the entire globe. Now today, April 1st, 2017, you can clearly see we have a very elevated stage of earthquake activity. We're going to go ahead and zoom into the state of California on the west coast of the United States. Currently, you can see, once again, earthquake activity is vast right along the San Andreas Fault. And as we pan upward to Alaska, once again, you can see a pretty heavy swarm of earthquakes in this region. Now, as we pan back out, there was an earthquake right at the northern tier of the Atlantic Ridge Fault, a 4.6 magnitude earthquake moving over towards the Ring of Fire six hours ago in Russia off the coast, a magnitude 5.9, and moving down into Indonesia and Papua New Guinea and down around uh, Vananatu, we have a 4.9, and then a very kind of rare earthquake seven hours ago in Australia, a magnitude 2.6. And this earthquake tracking map doesn't show all of the earthquakes that are currently um, interfering <laughs> with our Earth. Now let's move over to the Caribbean and Puerto Rico. As you can see, once again, it seems that this earthquake swarm is, it's around this area daily, the British Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. You'll see several small earthquakes, four or five of them, and it's kind of you know, a daily routine for this region. However, uh, we're seeing a uptick in the earthquake activity right along this entire region. Now, we're going to go ahead and move right down in here to South America, Guatemala, or excuse me, Central America. They had a magnitude 4.8 12 hours ago. Now, speaking of the Mexican region, the west coast of Mexico continues to be hammered by these earthquakes. Now this is looking back three days, 72 hours of earthquake activity on the western coast of Mexico. Now these are ranging in the low fours and the high threes. And I'll just go ahead and just pan down here slowly. And you can see now they did have a magnitude 5.3, but they're mainly in the, the low to high threes and the low fours. But ladies and gentlemen, I mean, living in this region along this coastline here of Mexico, feeling these earthquakes every single day. And again, this is just over the last 72 hours. And we're going to go ahead and move into Europe. Now, normally, Europe is pretty quiet as far as earthquake activity goes until you move into the Mediterranean region where Italy and uh, Turkey and Greece and you can see they've had some earthquakes popping off there, uh, relatively low magnitude uh, in the high threes, low fours. As far as volcanic activity, this is an updated map for April 1st, 2017. And what you're looking at, these are all of the volcanoes that are currently in full eruption mode. There are over 30 of them that are completely erupting on our planet. Now, normally, ladies and gentlemen, you know, we have a few of these earthquakes that are in full eruption mode all of the time. But over the past month, this has increased tenfold. So right now, we have over 30 volcanoes erupting on this globe. And you may ask, okay, well, what is the culprit? Well, we've been getting into this over and over again, and the main culprit is our sun and what is affecting our sun. Now, I've gone over this many, many times. It is my firm belief that we are being affected and our sun is being affected by the presence of a brown dwarf star and the possibilities of many more around our inner solar system. Now, we do know that there is the presence of a brown dwarf behind our sun and possibly a little bit lower below the ecliptic of the sun. We are still investigating and researching what is happening. I've had a lot of emails lately. People are watching this SDO footage and they keep asking me, Scott, why is the sun jolting? Why is it moving? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you know, it is my philosophy and my theory that the earth, or excuse me, the sun is possibly being jolted by its magnetic portal connection with this brown dwarf. 
there is also the possibility that it is an adjustment with the camera system on the SDO satellite craft. But ladies and gentlemen, you know, even if we sent an email to NASA and the people that work in the SDO uh, department, I guess, whoever reviews this footage, if we were to send an email and ask them, okay, why is the sun jolting like this? And, and we see this constantly over the last 60 days. We've seen this many, many times, this sun jolting and moving like this. Now, I have seen the SDO camera make an adjustment and the whole entire view of the sun rotates. It rotates so prominently that you can tell that is some type of an adjustment. But when we're seeing these small tremor-like uh, this small tremor-like activity where the sun jolts. It's my theory that the sun is definitely being affected by this brown dwarf star, possibly other planets that have been drug in by what they call nemesis. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm really starting to have second thoughts about the whole historical theory of Nibiru. Now, that goes all the way back to the Sumerian tablets that Zachariah Sitchin had translated. If this planetary system takes 3,600 years to make its way back into our solar system, God only knows what it brings with it each time it approaches and comes through our solar system. Now, we're in 2017, going back 3,657 years we really don't have an idea what all of this looks like, but we are doing the best that we can to figure it out. We are seeing telltale signs of major disturbances on the sun and around the sun and within our solar system, going all the way back to 2005. We are seeing an uptick in asteroids and meteor activity. We've gone over that before. But the issue with our sun is a major issue with our planet. And once again, we're going to continue each and every day to try and figure it out. Now, as I've been going through some emails over the course of the last several days, I've come across some interesting photographs that have been sent in. And I'm still looking at these photographs and, and short pieces of video. So I'm going to be putting those together hopefully within the next day or so, and I'll place those into a video so everyone around the world can see what others are seeing. And to be truthful, it seems that more and more people are now starting to wake up. I do want to ask all of you that subscribe to the Planet X News channel and the Nibiru channel, make sure that you share these videos on your Facebook page, on your Twitter account, and that may possibly help others to see what's happening and then start to ask questions. Now, I'm going to be putting a video together in about an hour concerning things that are going on with YouTube. And these things that are going on with YouTube right now are very, very critical. There has been a huge shakeup at YouTube pertaining to their major advertisers. But I will get into all of that later on in this video. And it's going to be very critical to how you are able to keep yourself updated. Now, you may not be interested in earthquake activity or volcanic activity, and you may not be interested in space weather because I've been doing a daily space weather report and all of these things are very, very critical. The more you know, the better off you're going to be. I've said this before, I will say it again, Knowledge is power. This is Scott from the Nibiru channel, Planet X News. Thank you for watching. And ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please stay updated, stay informed, and stay tuned. It's also a very good idea to share our video information on Facebook and Twitter. This awakening must come now. If you are interested in food and water prepping supplies for any emergency, you can visit my affiliate, foodforliberty.com, and their link will be in the description box under the video. We also ask that you make sure that you are subscribed to Planet X News and the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. 
And once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Hello everybody, welcome back to Planet X News. This is Scott from the Nibiru channel. It is April 1st, 2017, and from today forth, we're gonna be issuing an earthquake and volcanic activity report for the entire globe. Now today, April 1st, 2017, you can clearly see we have a very elevated stage of earthquake activity. We're gonna go ahead and zoom into the state of California on the west coast of the United States. Currently, you can see, once again, earthquake activity is vast right along the San Andreas Fault. And as we pan upward to Alaska, once again, you can see a pretty heavy swarm of earthquakes in this region. Now, as we pan back out, there was an earthquake right at the northern tier of the Atlantic Ridge Fault, a 4.6 magnitude earthquake. Moving over towards the Ring of Fire, six hours ago in Russia off the coast, a magnitude 5.9, and moving down into Indonesia and Papua New Guinea and down around uh, Vananatu, we have a 4.9, and then a very kind of rare earthquake seven hours ago in 